Hi everybody, I'm Tim from TroutandFeather.com and in today's video, we're gonna talk about Trout Routes. It's an app that could be potentially the best one in trout fishing today. Stay tuned while I prove it to you. So you're here because you love catching trout, probably as much as me. All right, there's no way you love it as much as me, but, but I'm sure you do. All right, so let's just jump right into this. There are so many resources in the world of fishing for trout. It's just potentially overwhelming. When I first turned 16, one of my favorite resources was a topographical map. I mean, I just highlighted streams and rivers all around Pennsylvania and in what seemed to be a, you know, a, a tri-state or a quad state area. Fast forward through those last 20 or so years, and I can think of just fly fishing chat forums, I don't know, Facebook groups. Now, Instagram, I still look through books like Keystone Fly Fishing, if, if you love to catch trout in the state of Pennsylvania, this is a great one. But now, let's jump into the 21st century. We have phones. What's brilliant about these phones? We have the ability to put apps on them to catch more trout. Now, not all apps are created equal, as you've probably found out if you've kind of investigated over the last couple of years. Trout Routes seems to differentiate itself from the other ones. I mean, this is the first app I've ever talked about on my YouTube channel. What does that say about it? Let me give you a quick overview. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the, the app, talks about pros, cons, I mean, show you exactly how I would use it in, we'll say, Wyoming, in Pennsylvania. But whenever you think about this app, Let's think about it from all the features that it offers us to catch more fish. We're talking about, number one, fishing streams, fishing rivers, access points. You can place notes into this app. There's stream data. There's real-time stream data on so many of the rivers that I love to fish. I mean, it shows camping spots, fly shots. There's lots more. And in my mind, this is awesome for trout fishing, and you can have it in your hands on your phone. Okay, first things first. Grab your phone, go to your app store, go to the app center, look down below in the description of this video, there's a link for Trout Routes, download it, put it onto your phone. It's a free app, which is kind of the beauty to at least get you started. You're gonna get a taste of that because there are two tiers within this app. There's a basic tier and there's a pro tier. Whenever I first think about the basic tier, here are some of the highlights of it. I mean, you're first going to get it as a free download. It has a database of all these trout streams throughout all the states where it's currently located. Next, uh, you have a listing of fly shops throughout any of those rivers. I mean, pretty much every fly shop I can think of is listed on this app. I mean, that's a really cool thing, especially when you're out, you're fly fishing, you're like, hey, where is a, a nearby you know, fly shop? You pull up trout routes, basically you can click a button, see exactly where you are and see if there's any fly shops in that area. Very smart thinking. Uh, next, as I mentioned before, there's some real-time stream conditions. If you wanna check and say, hey, it's raining right now, or it rained yesterday, is my favorite stream blown out? And if there's a USGS or some other type of access on there that allows for those conditions, you'll find them available on Trout Routes too. Uh, next, what's really nice about this, you still have the ability in the free one to save places and some favorites. So if nothing else, my first recommendation, go on your phone, download it, just play around with the basic, see if you like it. Just like any other app out there, there's a learning curve. So at least play around with it, see how some of its features work, and then pretty soon you're gonna say, you know what, the basic is really nice, I think I'm ready for the pro. At this point in the video, you should have just clicked pause, downloaded it to your phone, and just started to play around with trout routes. Now let me just talk about why you would make that jump from basic to pro because there is a cost associated with it. As of this recording, it's $39.99. That's an annual fee, basically a little bit over $3 per month. Not a major commitment, unlike some other apps that have a bunch of those in-app purchases. This is just that, that one time per year. Now, why should you upgrade from basic to pro? Instead of me just kind of telling you about all those different features or putting a little list up next to me, it's a little boring. Let me show you what my phone looks like. I'm gonna basically do a recording on my phone, walk you through the app, you'll see that I have the pro features and I'll explain why I believe it's a really good value for all of you. Here we go, I'm gonna take you through the app and the first thing I'm gonna scroll through some of the states. I'm gonna click on Montana and at the very top of the screen, next to the word Montana, there's a rectangle. Click that, it brings you to Montana. As you zoom out, you can see a bunch of fly shops, but let's go back to Pennsylvania. I'm gonna click right below the compass, that circle. When I get to Pennsylvania, use my fingers, zoom in. Hey, 
there's a fly shop. That little circle, that's a fly shop in the Shannon Creek. The beauty of the notion of upgrading, going to this pro level, is that you have the ability to see all of these different map layers. That's what I like. They're really detailed stream maps. So just watch as I kind of click through some, investigate, go all around, figure out where public access is, uh, figure out where boat launches are, have the ability to, to look at it from a, a road map, from a terrain map, from a satellite map. And those are really just some of the beauties that lie within trout routes. The other thing that I love, I mean, as you see all these different options below, yeah, it's definitely going to seem overwhelming at first, but geez, by clicking the, the My Content, you can see I have an offline map saved of the Little Juniata River, Blair County in Pennsylvania. So if I don't have any cell service, I can see what it looks like. The other really great part of this, whenever I kind of scroll to the bottom again and I click that My Content, I can pull up favorite spots. And one of my favorite streams is the North Platte River in Jackson County, Colorado. So I can click there. And then as I scroll down, I can also take notes on it. I can also add pictures. I, I have all these different you know, options available to me. When I click the Create button, hey, I can add a new marker anywhere I want. And remember, that's just for me to see. No one else is going to see that. So if I kind of scroll around, I'm like, hey, I'm going to put a marker like right here on the river. That's right where I caught that big brown trout. I can name that marker whatever I want. Let's just say, I don't know, great fishing. It's, it's a reminder. Like I want to know like to go back here, and here's why. I can put any type of uh, you know marker designation on it. I can add photos, the, the fish I caught. I can take notes. So remember, some of these options are only available in that pro tier. As I look at the map legend, it goes through everything. And then finally, the filters. To me, this is the most valuable part. Look at all these options. Go back, watch this part again. You see all the, the ways that you're able to filter this to make it usable just for you. Okay, you've seen what it looks like on my phone. Let's move into the last segment of the video. Basically, pros and cons. We'll start with pros, and I have a bunch. I'll try to keep my list condensed. I mean, there are so many things that I love about the app. The first thing, whenever I open it up, I love the ability to filter my selection. If I want to select just tailwaters, I can do that. See fly shops, I can just click so I only see fly shops. If I want to find rivers that have, we'll say something like a, a stream gauge on them, I click a button, it only shows those locations. To me, that's an automatic victory. Next, you can see with the pro version, I'm able to download the maps. So if I don't have service, if I'm out of range, I still have them on my device. That's a huge victory in my mind. Third, Trout Ralphs keeps my information private. When I was sharing that note with all of you, I had a note I believe on the Little Juniata River or the North Platte River in Wyoming. I deleted all the other ones. I didn't want you to see them. And Trout Routes won't make that information public. However, the beauty of the app is that if I want to just, we'll say, create a pin somewhere and share that pin with others, I can airdrop it, I can send it as a text message, I can do whatever I want because sharing is caring, at least with the friends that I choose to. So it's great that Trout Routes is able to keep my information private so I have access to it and no one else does. And then finally, it's an app. Now I know you're saying, well, well, that's obvious. Of course it's an app. But what's great about having it as an app is that we're able to get updates on a regular basis. So whenever I first learned about it, Pennsylvania wasn't one of the states that was fully mapped out. Now it is. That's great that they can constantly be updating it, adding new locations versus think back to my topographical maps, my books, some of those chat forums. That information is static. It's never going to be revised. This app will be. Okay, let's flip gears a little bit. And with my first con, uh, it's one that relates to so much whenever we're talking about technology. It's an app, and I know I finished my pro by saying that, but what's that mean? I mean, it's a new piece of technology there's going to be a learning curve, as there always is. What's my recommendation? It's simple. Download the free version and start playing around with it. Click it, add stuff to it. Just see what happens when you drag the screen around. Hit all the buttons. You're not gonna break it, trust me. But you will learn more about it, probably more than me right off the bat anyway. And if you accidentally click that button to share your favorite stream, I won't complain, trust me. But, but again, kind of recognize that it's new. You don't wanna just be out there on the water as you start to use it. You want to kind of use it as that resource ahead of time and learn about it as you would do with anything else out there. And then finally, I mean, I mentioned before, there is an upgrade cost to go from basic to pro. Do I believe it's worth it? 100%. This video wouldn't be here otherwise. But that's also something to consider is there is that charge to use this app if you're going for the pro version. I mean, listen, 
I think you should do it. If you fish as much as I do or anywhere close to, without a doubt, you want to have those resources available. This one's available, you know, in my hand. So, you know, jump down below, look in the description. You'll find a link to download it. Those cons are really tiny ones, but at least there's something that I want you to keep in mind whenever you're thinking about this app. So there you go. Trout Routes, the best app in trout fishing today. <laughs> I'd love to hear thoughts from all of you down below in the comments section, especially for those of you who have this app and who've used it before. Comment about it, let others know about your experiences because I wanna continue this conversation and just learn from one another in regards to this app. As I mentioned, there is a link in the description for more information and their website is troutinsights.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna watch more like it on my channel, you can do so on my website, which is troutandfeather.com. Thank you so much. Thank you ahead of time for all the comments and I look forward to seeing many of you soon.